Eminem. How do you feel about Eminem? I mean, listen, I, I was a big fan. I think nowadays, I think if you're like a hip hop lyricist guy, it's a little harder to get into him. But our bar has become so low for hip hop. Right. Yeah. Like we grew up. <laughs> like uh, you were saying, you listen, you uh, listened to, to the show back then. But it's yeah. like we grew up with like Rockus or Jay or whoever. Like loud. Yeah. Like yeah. D- different types of, of labels. Yeah. Nowadays, it's really one thing, and, and Eminem sort of makes these songs with big hooks. And yeah. I don't yeah. know if I, I'm more of an underground guy. Were so. people comparing you to Eminem? Oh yeah. Early on. Yeah. We we have both. Nasally voices. My yeah. voice, looking back now, sounded a lot like him. Did that uh, help you or hurt you? Oh, I think it really hurt me. <laughs> I think <laughs> nowadays everybody sounds like that. Like it would be hard to find a mixtape without a rapper that looks like he works at Pacific Sunwear. You know what I mean? Like sure. everybody looks like Jeezy at sure. this point. At that point, it was just me and that dude. Yeah. And so it was the only thing people could compare me to. Did you turn down a Kanye verse? Yeah. Why? I'm an idiot. Oh my yeah. god! Because I'm a dork. Well, because you, if I, my thing is, is like you listen. Like I was close with him. Yeah. So I would listen to him rap, but he was real breathy. Like, and I couldn't understand a lot of the stuff he was saying. So when my manager was like, "Kanye wants to get on this," I was like, "No." Like, no, I don't. And he had never rapped publicly, so that would have been like the first track he had released on like a major label. What Damn year was it. this? 99 2000 okay yeah and so and so i just was like Dog. nah it's i know it's a real bummer now <laughs> Sonically, it don't make sense it don't make sense it's it didn't make sense, sense. Yeah. but he's, yeah. it, but the, it's a song with me fabulous and red man sure and on the hook there's just guys yelling blow it's like blow and uh he's the guy yelling it oh, so really? kanye That's is it? on it sort of yeah <laughs> sort of on it blau. he's the blow guy kinda, yeah yeah but he yeah. wanted to do a verse and i was like nah son nah. what did nah. he say uh I, I you know I don't think he I mean he was a dweeb man I mean I always compare him to Bowfinger like Eddie Eddie wow. Murphy like he had braces he had adult braces he like wore big a Nietzsche jumpsuits he like looked like a d- dork so I was I don't think he ever took himself too serious so he was he was, he was nice about insane. it insane so Can how did he owe you three hundred dollars. I rented a car service for him, uh-huh. and I never really wanted the money back because I was doing well at the time. But he's one of those dudes, you know, when, when someone owes you money and they keep reminding you. Oh yeah. And, and at first you're like, no, dog, cool. I gotta get that money to you, dog. Yeah, but then yeah, it's yeah. like, nah, you owe me the money. You like eventually you like buy into it. Sure, you're like, sure. Nah, you yeah. owe me the money. So he would do that all the time, and then he never paid me back. You should tweet him your Venmo. Oh, he knows very well. Trust me. People who've read the book have bothered him quite a bit on social really? media. Yeah, yeah. The book is out. Yeah. It's a really good book. Garcia, you uh, you stand by the book. Honestly, like I read it all in like a couple hours. Thank it's you. so good. I mean, it's such wow. a great you yeah. turn pages so fast. And if you were from LA and you know anything about hip hop in Los Angeles and the history of it's on radio Amazon and yeah. everything yeah. like that, man, please it's eleven do yourself a favor. And, and Jeff bucks. was around. You, you were Garcia, around. Garcia, absolutely, I man. Very early. He, was, he, yeah. was, he used to get me to do his drops for the old school show and uh-huh. so many things. Uh, about the folklore and how I was able to, able to sort of get to the position I'm in now is because of people like Jeff. Sure. Oh, that's awesome, that's man. Awesome. Yeah, Jeff Thank has you. put on for a lot of people. A lot man. of people. Yeah, definitely. I know every artist that comes through, they see Jeff, they remember him, and it's Absolutely. instant love. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I owe them $300. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Yo, yeah, the book is called Kanye West Owes Me $300. Uh, you can get it on Amazon, yeah. right? Uh, have you heard of Harry Mack? I have. He, what uh, do you think? He did. I think he's great. That's I, our guy, man. He, I heard. Yeah, you guys got behind him. I, we uh, James Corden and Ben Winston had actually sent me his video, which I guess will make him very happy. Oh, uh, wow. But they had sent me him freestyling on Venice, right? Yeah. yeah. And they were like, what do you know about him? And I had just seen what you guys were doing with him. But yeah, uh, yeah, I, And yeah. he did our event for Drop the Mic at City Walk last Oh, that's week. right. That's right. So, yeah. yeah, I'm definitely watching him. Dude, um, Jensen Carp, a.k.a. Hot Carl, uh, again, uh, a writer. Fam. Yeah, Power yeah, 6 fam I, from, I the, yeah. from the gate. I mean, he's been at Power 6 longer than we have. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. And the crazy part is, is it's... I, not to get emotional about it, but when I was 19, 20 years old and up here and doing that thing and, and, and knowing that at 37 years old, I'd be doing the same thing is crazy. Like, I'm, I'm still wow. writing battle raps. Yeah. That's, that's what I do for a living. And, and to imagine... Hip hop is still very much an important part or important, um, an important piece. It's all it is to me. Right. I mean, I actually live it. So it's like, even though I've been a comedy writer and, and, and creating TV shows for years, it's like, this is always going to be my foundation. And I've been lucky enough to find something that melds the two worlds together. Thank God, right? Yeah. So cool. Didn't Mac 10 show up with like bags of money for you? Yeah. Yes. From here hearing me on this station he heard me what happened then, well he heard me rap here and then um he was able i mean it's mac 10 so i assume he could have anyone murdered at any time uh <laughs> but he he found my my home address which is where my parents what? live yeah and he showed up with a briefcase what he, nationality are you i'm i'm well i'm i look like a bagel i'm very jewish uh-huh. but uh, but i'm half armenian okay yeah okay. So, so i have two very overprotective parents is what i'm saying yeah, yeah, yeah. and and so he knocks on my door i meet him for the first time and then he sits down tells me he wants to sign me and then and he had a briefcase filled with fifty thousand dollars cash. He told me it was just a bonus, so I could take that money and then we'll work out the deal. Oh, wow! And I didn't take it. it. No, you didn't. no. Well, because I had seen VH1 behind the music enough. Like I know that. <laughs> like I like I know that's that, where you learned. Yeah, that leads to me living in like a car wash. You know what I mean? Like so, I, I was pretty quick to say like, no, I, I'm gonna figure this out.
Yeah, wow. dude. Did yeah. you have lawyers and an agent no. back then? This was all just you? Yeah. I, well, I got a lawyer eventually. When yeah. Jimmy Ivey was like, I have a million dollars for you, I was like, I need a lawyer. I had yeah. never, I didn't have a lawyer or know a lawyer yeah. at that time. Do you have to give that million dollars back somehow? N- well, no. It's 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 quote unquote recoupable, but th- uh, there's been no real story of anyone being like, give me back that money. Sure, I know, right? To a 19 um, year old. <laughs> right? Like, Is there any cut? Co- wait, 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 I was going to say, at the see? end of the day, that was Jimmy's decision not to put out the record. So, yeah. I mean, he shouldn't ask. Yeah, and for every hot Carl, there's a Tupac. You know what I mean? And for yeah. every hot Carl, there's an Eminem. So, like, things pay off. It's a real gambling thing for them. And mm-hmm. it's a tax write off when you're that rich. Yeah. Dude, you yeah. opened for Ice T when you were like 12 years old? Yeah. That what was did he me. say to you? Well, I, I uh, it was Rhyme Syndicate and yeah. Ice T and, and Tone Loke and Pacific Heights. And I was 12 years old and uh, I was in a rap group and I was sort of discovered in a similar way. And, and I tell the story in the book. And basically, they had me perform on Vine right down the street, like mm-hmm. right in Hollywood. And, uh, and he, him and Donald D, which is a name only like seven people listening remember. <laughs> right. But Donald D managed me for like a year and a half, getting me to sort of the point that I would be later in life. And, and they were really, really supportive. I mean, I looked like a Boy Scout. But I spit hard, so it was like right. kind of one of those things that. Well, you're a surprise. Yeah, it didn't work out for me, but but in real life, like I'm like the Woody Harrelson in White Man Can't Jump. <laughs> like you bring you bring me to the game, and they're like, "What's he doing?" And then it's like, "Nah, he's dunking." Yeah. So that was what they wanted me for, and it didn't work out. But it was another great experience for me. Dope. And there is an official uh, Urban Dictionary, and I think your name is in it, right? Yeah. If I if I haven't done anything with my life, uh, the least I could say I done I've done is create another definition for someone pooping on another person's <laughs> chest. Because like <laughs> when. You wow. create a rap name, Ha Carl. You're like, man, I don't know why I did that. And then, yeah. when, and then, 15 years later, when you're on Urban Dictionary, you're like, you know what? Yeah, I did it. What does Ha Carl mean for those who don't know? Well, it's, it's a sexual know. act for when you poop on someone's chest. chest. You defecate on you someone. You gave somebody a Ha Carl. Yeah, and that was, and that's what he was doing on the phone. When he was yeah. on him. Yeah. yeah, I was shitting on him. And so, like, that was the whole thing. Is like, I wanted to be that for rap battling and little did I know it would stick with me for 15 years. I would never have picked it. Right. So you right. go in the bedroom with a lot of people. <laughs> Listen, it's about rap battling. Uh, right, right. It is yeah. a search word. It is a search word. You know what I'm saying? I own hotcarl.com. Do you really? And a lot of people probably end up there for the wrong reason. <laughs> That's amazing. For the total wrong reason. Like, I assume they get there and they're like, I don't want to see this suburban old white rapper guy. Like, That's not what I want to see. Maybe you're turning w- them on. When you were Maybe. battling cats over the phone, calling Power 106, you're a young dude. Are you living in Calabasas yeah, at this point? Yeah, yeah. I lived in my parents' house. No yeah, way. I was I was an intern on the Flintstones sequel. Did you live near like the Menendez brothers? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Menendez brothers went to my high school. Is that right? Yeah, well, I mean, they're like six years older than me, but yeah, that's right. Yeah, they are. Yeah, yeah, yeah they killed their parents. Yeah, they and then, did. And that then they I did, and yeah. then I killed the rap game. <coughs> oh! Oh! Hey, no, there Jesse is. James. Jesse James Hollywood also was in my graduating class. Oh, sure, yeah. The, uh, they involved in a murder too. So we, we oh. even though it's suburban. It's pretty hardcore over yo, there. It's pretty, yeah. it's, yo, it's pretty serious. It's pretty lit out there. You yeah. never know. You, you never, never know. Insane. Hot Carl, man. It's been a, it's been an honor having oh, you here. Thank you. Man, man. I'm so excited to Jensen be here. Jensen Carp, you can buy his book. Kanye West owes me three hundred dollars on Amazon. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, you're a writer on this show and yeah. this show. Drop the mic with Method Man, Haley Baldwin. Yeah. Celebrities rap battle each other. It's gonna be amazing. You uh, you wrote some stuff for James Car- uh, James Corden, and uh, he's gonna be on the show, right? And he's gonna yeah. James battles. Uh, the debut is is crazy. It's uh-huh. two battles. We have. Anthony Anthony Anderson versus Usher, and we definitely go there. And oh. then, uh, and yes. then we have James Corden versus Halle Berry, Woo. which is nuts. Lit. And it's Very fire. Great. And like, and I just want people to know who watch it. And I know they've been running a lot of ads during during basketball and baseball, baseball which yeah. is crazy. And so I just I want people to know that it comes from an actual place of real hip hop. This is I understand that watching these people rap is going to give you some moments of like, ugh. Yeah. We are all battle rappers who yeah. are writing it. And it's not a mock or parody. These At are all. battles. Everyone, everyone goes in and, and practices for three hours to do this. Sure. Two to three hours. No, none of these people are releasing a mixtape tomorrow. You don't have to worry. We're not right, infringing right, right. on your but culture. But they do take it seriously because you don't want to play yourself. And also they want to respect it. No one goes in there to shit on the, on, the, on the art. Right. So we all go in like there. That. We have people like Murs and people like uh, and, and Intuition and Micah James and these rappers from LA uh, come in and help. Hollow the Don. All these rappers have come in to help coach and write and, and, and we go out there and, and we don't expect them to have rap careers. We're not, Shout we're not Loaded Lux, too. Loaded Lux, uh, 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 one of the best. Yeah. And those dudes we have coming in, uh, Roan and, and a bunch of dudes come in to help. And this is real. We, we, we're we not trying to mock the culture. Uh, yeah, we man. are the culture. So yeah, we're just trying to bring other people in. No one watches celebrity softball and is like, you're being mean to baseball. 
Sure, you know exactly. I mean? like, we're just having yeah. fun. It's one time they're rapping, they're they're taking the piss out of each other, and we're we're there to do it. I saw I like Nicole that. Richie a tease on Nicole Richie, and and I would think like, oh, Nicole Richie rapping, but she killed it. She kind of like, spits. Yo, yeah, she Yo, got it for reals. Gina Rodriguez could put out a record tomorrow. What? Wow. And you'll see her go up against Gronkowski in the second week. Yo, I mean, wow. he cannot I'm put in. out a mixtape. He's terrible. He's terrible. He's <laughs> yeah, black, yeah, right? He's yeah, absolutely yeah, terrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he knows it. I'm sure. Yes. So it's fine. Oh, I don't know. Who knows? What up, Garcia? How many writes and rewrites do you guys go through? Because I could imagine that you come up with stuff and you have to go. Oh, that's a little bit too much. It Ooh, goes both. It, it is on TBS. Like, oh, honestly, it, it goes both it, ways. Right. It goes both ways. We, 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 for Halle Berry, you have a lot of versions. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like, you got to jump. Like, I don't know what we can talk about, what we can't. But, but someone like Maya Bialik, right? We had a big bang theory battle where Tur versus Kunal. Oh, that's and, funny. And I call her and I go over the lyrics and she goes, you know what? Why don't you make fun of my nose? I got a big nose. And I was like, oh, good for her. Okay. And then I just wrote a nose joke. So it's kind of like, it, it depends on who the celebrity is, but everyone's been really game. And, and, and to be honest, we've gotten almost everything we want on. But they're celebs, so I'm sure there's been one that says, I don't know, and talk Maybe. to my I mean, people. To be honest, some of the things that you would think of, we don't want to talk about. Sure. Like, I don't know how much we talk about, like, um, like we do talk about Holly's divorces tonight. You oh, know? good. We oh, do. But great. like, but like, I, I kind of had to feel it out because I, I wouldn't want to talk about someone's divorces unless they're down. Right. Yeah. So like there's certain things you, you like Usher, there's things I would never talk about in his life that just seem mean. But then there's things we go at him for that tonight you'll see are, are well worth it. I can't wait. Why yeah. do you think you were bullied in high school? Uh, Hip hop wasn't a thing for white dudes. So like they, they just used to say that I wanted to be black and, 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 and sort of and wearing cross colors and stuff. Uh, right. was not a good look. And I came from a high school that ended up giving you Lincoln Park and Incubus and, and, uh, and Hoobastank, which is a name that hasn't should never be said on Power 106, <laughs> uh, at least again. Um, and so, like, they just were used to a certain thing. And I think sure. that when I showed up and, and was into Mob Deep and, uh, you know, knew every word to the Gravediggers album, I think it was just like, why do you want to be a black kid? And so it was yeah. just weird. And then the next year, they were all the ones yelling along to Bone Thugs. So, exactly. Yeah. Right, right, right. And, uh, yeah. Talking about Wu-Tang's 36 Chambers. That's right. And then next thing you know, that one kid you made fun of, he hired Method Man. Wow, Damn. exactly. <laughs> there he is. Yeah. Yo, are you constantly writing? Are you freestyling in the car? Do you have bars no, in your head? Weird. I'm more of a writer nowadays. So yeah. it's like I don't I don't really rhyme. It's not really something I've wanted to do in a long time. Give us something for old time's sake. You down? Uh, what do you yeah. think? Yeah, I could try it. Acapella? Uh, yeah, let me try. I mean, let me try. Now Let's you got me on a thing. Why not? I know it's on the we, spot. I know. Crew Show uh, Power 106. Hot Carl yeah. is here. Let's go. Back in 2000, I was so important. Yeah. My career took a turn. I'm Bojack Horseman. Now I'm just a guy with the story never finished. And the problem with those gimmicks is my skills never diminished. Ooh. Listen, I'm only getting better with age like antiques to come back. Decades later, like Twin Peaks. Catch me in the valley running in a minivan with the crew that's more lit than that shitty 90s band. Understand, the first time around was a test so I could resurrect and be considered amongst the best. Put pen to pad to spell out the catalyst that had me making songs with Will I Am and Fabulous. Okay. Uh, yeah, I got you a little. I gave you a little. I gave you a little. Hot Carl, man. Drop the mic. You got to watch Drop the Mic tonight on TBS Crew Show. Power 106. That's right.